Welcome back once again, Bandits fans. This is the second interview of the night that we're going to be doing here for your upcoming Bancroft Bandits players. And right now we have infielder Miguel Soto from New Mexico Military Institute baseball team. So, Miguel, thank you uh, for joining me tonight, man. Uh, it's a pleasure. All right. So on the line we got Miko. And uh, first question, uh, you came out of Montwood High School in El Paso, Texas. Uh, so that's kind of where... Your career uh, had some early stages, so in your words, you know, what was the program like there, and uh, how was your high school career for you? You know, any accolades or things that you took with you uh, to play the game now? Um, high school was fun. Uh, we had some great coaches. Coach Romo does a really good job of instilling hard work there, so he's a big factor in why I'm such a, a good player, I can say. Um when I was there uh, for two years, my junior and my senior year, I got All-City player. In my senior year, I was able to get uh, All-State recognition also, so that, that was pretty fun. And I always worked hard for for that, that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> very nice, very nice there. And uh, your next stop is where you're at now with uh, New Mexico Military Institute. So, uh in your words, how would you describe the program and uh, playing baseball at NIMI? The program here is, is great. Uh, Coach Cook does a great job. Uh, our, also, our lifting coaches, Coach Ford, does a really good job of making sure we're ready for the season. So it's, it's built, it builds me up really good, uh, just becoming a stronger player uh, physically and mentally. Well, all right, and you've been producing very well at NIMI uh, in two years. Uh, your 2018 spring stats through 44 games, you had a 340 average, uh, six home runs, 49 RBIs and 42 runs. Uh, now I understand this spring you were hurt a little bit, but you've still been putting up a very solid spring average around 290 and uh, about seven extra base hits, two long balls. So uh, in your words, you know, how would you attest to your success or uh, what would you try to do mentally uh, with your approach at the plate? Um, mentally, each time I go to the plate, I try to stay relaxed. Um, I take my deep breath and I step in that box and I try to hit the, the ball hard to center field. That's what Coach Cook uh, helped us like have a good approach here at NIMI. In high, in high school, didn't really have a, a solid approach. Came here Hitting the ball hard to center field made me produce more doubles, more home runs. So that's my approach, trying to hit a ball hard to center field. Well, for only being a second baseman around five foot seven, it certainly seems like you have a lot of pop uh, in your bat. But now I want to ask, uh, as obviously uh, an NBA uh, two-year school, would you possibly know uh, as of now where you're going to be playing uh, the rest of your uh, collegiate career after NIMI? Uh, yes, I've uh, committed to Southwestern Oklahoma State University. Very uh, nice. D2 school and out there in Weatherford, Oklahoma. Um, I've talked to the coaches. They they have a good program there. Uh, they have a degree plan that I'm interested in, so I'm going there for the next two years. Oh, well, very good. Congratulations there. And uh, before that, uh, this summer season, uh, you're going to be a little far from home uh, in El Paso as well as New Mexico. You're going to be playing out in Bancroft, Iowa, in the Pioneer Collegiate Baseball League for the Bancroft Bandits. So I want to know uh, how my big brother and uh, head coach Michael Kieran was just able to get a hold of you and, and get you to come out uh, you know, to small-town Iowa to play your uh, summer season for the Bandits. Um, the way he reached out to me, I guess it was kind of funny. I, I was just uh, scrolling through Twitter. I was looking at some some videos and uh, and I got a I got a text from him through Twitter and he's like, hey, how, how would you like to play this summer in Iowa? And I was like, like I really thought I didn't really think about playing. And then uh, he told me all about my stats, like you'd be a good fit here. And I was like, all right, cool. Like, and I got some of my my friends that are going, so it's gonna be really cool. It's not uh, I'm gonna be relaxed here. I'm gonna ha- I'm gonna know some people that are gonna be there. Yeah, and that actually leads me directly into uh, this next question as uh, 
you are going to be joining the roster uh, with some familiar faces uh, in the Galindo brothers, uh, Bobby and Julian, as well as Adrian Torres. You know, all three players that you shared the field with. You know, on the same team, opposing. Um, why don't you talk to uh, Why don't you talk to us about your time uh, sharing the field with those guys? Let's uh, start off with uh, Bobby and Julian. Um. Bobby last year, uh, he's a year older than me, so so when I came in, he he really took me under his wing. So he he really showed me like a good mental mental way of hitting. Like he got me into the pr- approach too. I had one of my greatest seasons last year playing with him. Um, and that guy's that guy's a dude. Um, he's a, he's a kawaii, as what we call it over here, <laughs> and. Uh, and uh, uh, don't let his size bore you, but you know, that that can hit. He can hit really good. <laughs> I think he's only standing at five foot nine, but definitely, definitely a bulky hitter, and he's he's got the power numbers. Uh, how about how about how about his uh, little brother Julian as your uh, teammates with him this year? <laughs> Jules, Jules is something else. Uh, he's he's good. He's a good player. He has really good footwork at first base. Uh, really athletic. Uh, he's he's doing really good this season. Uh, at batting three four hole for us. He's a good lefty stick in the play and. Uh, He's a good friend too. He he clowns around a lot too, and he he's fun to be around with. All right, there, and then uh, the third player that you uh, have a familiar past with is uh, Adrian Torres, uh, an outfielder over at uh, New Mexico Junior College, and a former M- MLB draft pick uh, for the Boston Red Sox, I believe, uh, this past year. But uh, how 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 would you describe him as a player? Um. I, I really didn't get to know him as a person, but each time we played against him, he he always played his, his guts out, um, make solid contact. I mean, our, our two schools are rivals, so each time we played each other, it's just like a little bit more that we had to give out, you know, and he always, he always showed up what, when he needed to. Well, obviously... Uh... Before uh, you spend your uh, next, uh, the next step of your career over in Oklahoma D two, it's once again congratulations. Uh, do you have any ho- uh, hopes or goals uh, for yourself uh, this upcoming summer for the Bandits? Um, I'm, I'm hope, hopefully I, I get some looks. I mean, uh, I want to go play out there and like make a name for myself out there too. Um, uh, I just want to see how the this summer goes, you know, I'm going out there to get exposure and, and hopefully everything goes good and make some friends while playing the game. Well, it should be a very exciting summer on a very historic field, you know, a very blue collar town for Bancroft and a great support system. You know, the home games are going to be unlike anything else. You're going to be sharing the field with a lot of talented players as well as playing against a lot of talented players. Um, do you have anything else you'd like to add uh, for the interview? Um, I just like to thank everyone from from Bank from Bancroft uh, who's who's supporting us. Like, thank you for giving us this opportunity to go play this summer. All right. Well, uh, I want to thank you for your time. That was uh, Miguel Miko Soto. You can catch him on the diamond uh, for all the home and away games uh, this upcoming summer in the 2019 Pioneer Collegiate season as a member of the Purple and Black Bancroft Bandits. So, uh, Miko, I want to thank you for talking to me tonight, man. All right. Thank.